Hey everybody, Rochus here. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, the Elder Kings mod. Last episode, I continued to try to win this war, where it's basically just me wandering around, trying to unsiege things while they're sieging it down. And it's, uh, sort of going in my favour. It's... Our numbers are close enough that it... Oh, my vassal died. Um, do I... I'm gonna... He's wounded. How the hell are you wounded? Clubfooted. Did you fall over or something, maybe? I don't know. Well, um... Have you educated as soon as you're of age? When will you be of age? 19th to the 7th. Okay, it's a year away. Okay, that's fine. If I can, I'll educate him myself. Or have my son educate him. That's probably wiser. So he's no longer getting ticking war score because I've taken Black Rose back. I should... If I can siege this down fully, I will start getting ticking war score again. And I suppose I could just unseize this and wait. And I will win eventually. All that would affect it is if he managed to siege down all of that in the time it takes Ticking War Score to work. But that's not really a, a fun way of winning the war. So I'm going to unseize this. Um, become ambitious. Go on. Why not cause trouble for my son later on? You're perceptive. So that's that's great. Oh dear. Attempts to sell the province has not gone well. They do not like me. So even... Argonian modifier. Oh, is that a... I wonder if that's t for all things. Argonian. No. Maybe it is if, if you are the same species as what is what you're ruling. You have a less chance of having an issue. That'd be cool. He wants a fiefdom. Half shield. Um, yeah, go on. Half shield's not the greatest. If it was chase point, that'd be different. Half shield is meh. He might end up putting money towards himself, which would be good. Now... I could spend some of my own money, uh, my prestige, to improve my uh, things itself. I think I will, actually. I'm going to go with mage, mage Grounds, because that is six, 12 Battle Mages. That's a significant amount, I think. I'm not entirely sure what they do, or if there's a, if there's a problem with having too many, but still, 12 is, is a decent amount. Wonder if I can catch this army. They'll get there on the twelfth or the seventh. They've backed off, cool. Then the Black Rose. I'm gonna wait for them. They're gonna stop moving. I'm gonna let them I'm gonna let them decide where they wanna go first, and then once they're committed, then I'll go in and take them out. They're not moving now. There now they are. Cool. Twentieth so for the eighth. So I'm gonna wait until the nineteenth for the eighth. Speed it up. We're still a fair bit away. Before I move. It's a little bit of game, but otherwise you're never going to catch them. So sometimes you got to, sometimes you got to harness. Okay, we got a lot of refugees apparently. They're still on the twentieth, so if you speed up a little bit more, slow it down. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Cool. Now we'll move. So now we'll make sure all my commanders are the best that can possibly be, which they are. Make sure everyone is also balanced. Cool stuff. Right, we are going to go and fight these guys. They have terrain on their side. They've got Black Marsh, which is defensive terrain. However, if I can... I have more troops than them. Are they going to get away? They're not going to get away. That's alright. If I can... I can imprison a couple of people. I don't want to do that right now. Yes, if I can win this battle, I've won the war. If I lose the battle, I'll have to hire mercs to win the war. So they've got terrain bonus, but I have three flanks versus their one, and they're completely wiped out. So there we go. We're going to chase them. Actually, no. How many? 50 guys. What's the garrison there? They won't be able to take that, or that, or that. They're not going to be able to take anything, so I'm going to leave them. Because as long as I leave them alive, he won't raise up any more troops. So 51 guys is not a threat. Whatever he manages to raise, potentially is. So I'm going to ignore him and go and occupy his land. And then laugh, as he can't do anything about it. Because the AI is silly. And then maybe once I've won that war, I will probably, you know, conquer it back. Because it was originally mine. Do I have a claim on it? No, I don't. Was it my dad, potentially, who was the ruler? Why am I the handsome? Everyone's called the handsome. Is it because we're all attractive and fashionable? Could be. Oh, I've become strategist. So there we go. My marshal is now apparently no better. Which is a bit disappointing. 
War focus strategist. Okay. So I'm only on seven martial, which is not great. But still, I have the martial trait, the strategist trait, which is plus one stewardship. That's something, because obviously you it part of the... I mean, an army marches on its stomach, as the famous phrase is. So if you're good at con uh, dealing with your troops and providing them with food, you're decent at running a country, I suppose, is the logic. Topol is still quite happy under my my brother's rule. Why did died an abomination? Abomination. This twisted, disgusting creature is an abomination. Likely some despicable trick of a Daedric prince or a perverted experiment by some decrepit mage. Holy crap! Minus fifty martial, minus fifty intrigue, diplomacy, stewardship, learning, fertility minus thousand. Thank God, I just want to breed. Health minus fifty. Does that just die immediately? 11th... No, it lasted a day. Yeah, so the health is minus 50, so... Yeah, it's, it's gonna die. I'm gonna break up with one of them. Not sure which, don't really care. Wow, that is... Horrifying. That is a horrible, horrible fate for that kid. Oh well. <laughs> it's an abomination with the worst stats ever. You wanna surrender? Who are you? What? Um, what happens if I enforce demands on you? Oh, okay. I thought I got money from him. Except this thing. Cool, so I just gained prestige. So I'm going to send this army back. He's currently sat on zero troops. Allies? Many! Oh god, he's got so many allies. How? Same dynasty, Mirkwood. Same dynasty, Sarpa. Sarpa's the same dynasty. Markment is his father-in-law. For He's got so many! There's a, there is literally a coalition to my north. Rock Park and Coldmore will help this guy. Where is Rock Park? There. Coldmore. There. Okay, so he's a vassal, so he's not going to be able to help. He'll help anyway. So a thousand troops is in Naga. Naga is the, annoyingly, is the weakest neighbour I have. Because everyone else has alliances with half the country. So I can't really do much. Oh, but I can apparently have CBs with all these people. Why? Claim Archon. All these people. Um, nah. What is this? Is this a... Oh, wow. That is... These are some very interesting holding pictures. Very intimidating. What is my thing? Is it Inquisition? It is Inquisition. Not going to call it Inquisition. That would just be foolish. How many troops do they have? 6,000. That is not much in vanilla CK2, but in this, he is basically God. He has endless forces. I am going to go raid this guy. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise up my levies. Apart from the ones on Sol Rest, of course, because they on uh, Topal Sea, because they don't get to do anything. Send them over here. Once everyone's here, I will have them all raid and go and raid down Redmond, because I want some more money. Essentially. I think Make a move. Anyone I can ransom from that little war I had. Oh, yes. I've got one of his... I've got his heir as a hostage, don't I? Do I not? Died of cholera. Was that the one? No, that was ages ago. Who's, whose child do I have, then, in my court, randomly? Let's have a look. I don't know. Air the tribes. No, that's my son. No idea. Whatever. It's mystery. Maybe maybe that kid just went home when he was old enough. Which is unfortunate because, you know, it'd be nice if he took me as a hostage. Meant yeah, that is the son. Cool. But he's still the wrong culture, which is no benefit whatsoever. Invite to court. He will say no because he has no reason to move. Could duel him. Do I have any uh, any rivals? No, I have no rivals. Even though I've got two lovers, no one cares. Mage grounds have been built in Chase Point, which is nice. Redman has, in the sort force of allies, Alessia and Stormhold. Alessia, up there, pretty powerful. Not involved in any other war. They dislike me. Yeah, okay, for now I'm not going to attack Redman. For now. I will in the future, though. Rock Park. Do they have any allies? Markment, Naga, Coldmore. 
Markment, Naga. Okay, so that's... Oh, all these, all these alliances are very irritating. How many allies do I have? Markment. I have Markment on my side. So Naga could get involved. Hmm. Could really do with getting rid of some of these alliances. Because at the moment I can't expand without taking on literally the entire kingdom. And I don't want that. That's way too much trouble than it's worth. Not for one county. Maybe a duchy. I managed to get an inquisition off. Or a ducal claim. Or an entire, like, realm. That would be worthwhile. But for just a single county, you know, in a conquest war, not really worth my time. Or troops. So I'm going to go raid this. This will give me... Oh, I can't even... Ah, oh, I thought I'd have enough. I don't have enough. No. Oh dear, and now, of course, because they're hostile. How much am I taking each turn? Four days, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I took some of it. Retreat across there. Yeah, so maybe if I go out of here, he will raise up his troops to defend, and then I can crush them, and then I can raid. That's the plan. Why is he not leading troops? Become a duke. You want to gain a duchy? You're on minus. Where the hell? Like I, I know he was negative, but I didn't realize he was down to minus nine, twenty-eight thousand. Did he keep doing something? I don't even know. Very weird. But whatever. Disband those levies. That, okay, so we got a little bit of money there. That was good. That was beneficial. Are we still losing money? I'm gaining money now. This is nice. It's a nice feeling. I can create Duchy Black Resident 193. Stone Waste with the same amount. Of course, if I have a Duchy, then my vassals in the Duchy will then want the land. You want to back the plot to slander someone? No. Um, what about... I think if I go for anyone, it'll be Black Rose. Just because these guys are relatively... He died. This guy's relatively weak, and he's just lost his dad, so he's, you know, grieving. And Black Rose has one of the actual decent holdings in it, which is always nice. If I get Black Rose, I can afford Black Rose now. I'm going to do it. Even though now I have no money. High tea for Black Rose. And I've fulfilled my ambition, which is nice. And my domain limit's gone up because I'm a great duke. So there we go, that's worked out quite nicely. Now, I want to amass wealth. How much do I want for amass wealth? Is it still 500? 500 gold. I'm not really going to get that. I'm going to try and make a friend. No, I'm going to go for 30 glorious years. That is... Sh like, combined, that's 60 years of reigning. I need to be 71. I don't think that's going to work. I, yeah, that ambition was not a wise choice, to be honest. But, either way, not the end of the world. So... I now have both. I have now two kingdoms, two uh, chiefdoms, to form a custom, and this is a thousand prestige, and three ducal titles, or 35 realm. I'm on 19 realm. If any of these became actual holdings, and I could, you know, build other stuff, it might be worth doing. Sorry about that, guys. Just had to alt tab for a second there. Now. Oh, it was still running. Cool. Now, um, this kid's now become of age, which is useful. However, not so much because he's ambitious and zealous and perceptive. So, when I die and my son takes over, it's probably going to be difficult to kill him if I need to. But I could end up getting an alliance with someone over here. Glenbridge. It's a vassal, I think. Glenbridge. Rock Point. Half shield, he's always oh, my son, my brother's son, or my son's son. Niece, yep, yeah, brother's, brother's daughter. Rock point, I, why, why rock point? Rock point, Markman. No, I don't want any more alliances with Markman. Mayor of my, my, both my sons now, actually. One with Markman, I think, just so that I keep the alliance. Because I need to keep some alliances, otherwise I've got nothing. Shade March and Moon March, you apparently have a claim on. Moon March. Oh, they're. Oh, it's a vassal. Okay, sod that now. No point marrying a vassal. So you can marry the daughter or niece or someone of 
the Chief of Markment, which is good. That gives a little bit of, uh, of an alliance. Only 512 guys, but still nothing. Something is better than nothing. My other son. You can be married to... Shannon's... Of... Who's this? Rumek the Cruel. Hi, she... Vassal of Sarpa. No. No point there. Although, is there anyone here? Anyone... I could really do, like, alliances with someone who's going to give me a claim. He... She will give me a claim. Arrange betrothal. Why? Political concerns. It's because they know I want to take their land. That's actually literally why. Ah, well. I don't really care, to be honest. I will... Essentially just ignore any sort of claims for now. I think I'm going to go for... Getting a kingdom title first. So for that, I'm going to get an alliance with... Not Glenbridge. Not my allies. Not my vassals. Chief Octa the Seducer. Vassal of Naga. Could be worthwhile, because then I can press a claim on that, perhaps. If needed. Who, where was he? He was... Not Half Shield... This one. Imbecile, though. Okay, no, 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 no. What about your other daughter? There we go, that's better. No, I was not going... Not about to marry off my other son to an imbecile. Just for a potential for a claim. No, she is... Oh. Okay, not actually giving me a light there either way. Bit disappointing, but... Whatever, what's the... Succession. I'll go to Ulakth and Wanan. Ulakth, Wanan. He gets something, apparently. That's a bit weird. Either way, not the end of the world. So, my son, my bastard son, he's now a master assassin, which is cool, you know, for having a bastard son who probably wants to take the family name. That's fantastic. But he, he is actually really good. I'll make you a commander. I'm going to make you a house assassin. There we go. Good, good on you. I'll become gregarious. Thank you very much. Lose gold, gain favor. Lose prestige, gain favor. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have you collect taxes. If you would, kindly. And you are going to build a spy network. In my land. Nope, what are you doing? Build a spy network. Build. Why can't I build a spy network? There we go. I don't know why that wasn't working, but it, it wasn't. Oh, I've had another son who's attractive. Gah! <laughs> called Gah. He will be called Gah. He is a beautiful, beautiful name. Alright. So. Children to educate. You can be educated to become Petru, because apparently you're not. Not sure how that's happened, but that will be fixed. Probably you, my wife, educating her. Oh yeah, she's got the, she got the weapon, hasn't she? Can I imprison her? No. Apparently not. Plot to kill. We'll go and go to one of my sons. What is this? What do you want? You want to back... Stop it! In end plot. Imprison. There you go. Imprisoned. Stop it. Be Stop being irritating. She's ruthless, apparently. Well, so am I. So I'm going to ransom you. No one will buy you. Which is a shame, because I want the money. In fact, who can I imprison? I can imprison this guy. 98% chance. Which I will do. Thank you. And you... 54% chance. Mia Hall. We're going to try it. Yay, it worked. So, they can now rot in prison. I will ransom them when I'm given the chance to. I lost my steward, though. Is he a really good steward? I've got a new steward. It doesn't matter. So, yeah. When I'm given the chance, I'll ransom him once he's earned enough. He's not earning that much. He's not earning that very quickly. But hopefully he will. What is this? Hoaz attacking in the conquest of Briel. Where is... Oh, Bravel. So he's taking Bravel. Why did you park your ship there? I suppose, yeah, you can't get up there. That's a bit weird. You'd think that ships would be able to go up the river. That's, I mean, that's a, that's a strait there. That's a strait. He should be able to cross up there, but he's not. Oh well. Right, well, we are coming towards the end of the episode. I'm not entirely sure where we are because of the alt tab before, but yeah, I'll let you rot. You can just sit there. You're my money bag, really. Look at all these things. You're a trader, business contacts. 
You've got enough to make money. Blue looks serene and dignified. How is the yellow one here? Golden and prosperous. We'll go with that, because it doesn't cost me any money. Right, so we are going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Next episode. Not actually sure what will happen, so we're on the same boat here. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.